Can Shiba Inu finally break out and will Bitcoin reach 100,000 very, very soon? What did Robert Kiyosaki say about Bitcoin to 13 million? We'll talk about all that. All I ask from you is that you give me a beautiful smile to send out those good, good vibes. Smishity smash that like button. Hopefully today, if you missed yesterday, I got mixed up with the Shiba Inu and XRP videos. So today I'm not going to get mixed up. Don't worry about it. This is a Shiba Inu, Shiba Inu video, right? <laughs> um, so beautiful smile, smishity smash that like button and let's do the Shiba shake. <laughs> So currently the price of Shiba Inu is at 0.402460, down 0.65% on the day. Shiba Inu continues to get tighter and tighter and tighter into this bullish pennant flag formation or triangle, whatever you want to call it. It's getting tighter and tighter. Shiba Inu has this tendency to do stuff like this. You can see I have the same uh, formation drawn here at a, at a smaller scale back a few months ago and at that instance Shiba Inu broke to the downside right um, so it doesn't mean that we're going to uh, go to the upside as Shiba Inu is ready to break out meaning it could break out to the downside it could break out to the upside a lot of what has potentially going to happen here with Shiba Inu has to do with Bitcoin has to do with the crypto market has to do with the potential momentum that we could see here in the crypto market in the next coming weeks days um, the market has slowed down a little bit. We're not seeing many assets with, you know, 10, 15, 20 uh, percent movements here after last week. It was, you know, a daily occurrence that we were seeing 10, 15, 20 percent movements. Uh, you know, we saw Shiba Inu with, you know, 20 percent, 15 percent days. Uh, it's, it's slowed down a little bit. It's slowed down a little bit. Um, as Bitcoin continues to kind of consolidate here around the 90,000 level. I know last night we had a new all-time high for Bitcoin. Again, That's it's going to happen once in a while. Um, and it, it got closer earlier this morning, uh, you know, uh, at almost to 93,684. So it got close to breaking that this, this uh, about an hour or so ago, then pulled back. Um, as you can see, you know, Shiba Inu dropped off with Bitcoin, but it hasn't seen the same umph. Uh, back, it's because of the Bitcoin dominance and how much, you know, funds are going towards Bitcoin and not so much going towards altcoins. And when this flips, then altcoins are going to start moving big time. But again, we've talked about this before. When you have assets that are potential for those 20, 25, you're not seeing Bitcoin move 25% in a day, right? Um, so when Bitcoin down goes down 2%, 2.5%, two then Shiba Inu, Doge, and you know, others, high probability that they drop back, you know, 10%. So I know a lot of people are in the comment section and you know in their feelings, but this is this is how it is. This is if you want an asset that has the potential to go up 20, 25%, you're gonna also have to deal with the potential of it going down 20 to 25%. Uh, and so that's what we're currently, uh, again, we're not seeing that right now from Shiba Inu coin, but potentially Shiba Inu could have those movements and you need to be ready for that mentally for that to happen. We've seen a lot of, uh, you know, liquidations here on the long and on the short um, uh, in the last 24 hours. And you can see here like Doge has uh, had a big, um, Doge Pepe had some big uh, long um, shorts that, sorry, longs that got uh, liquidated here. So you have to be very careful if you're using leverage because the market is still very, very spiky and very, very unpredictable. You can have, you know, an asset that, uh, you know, suddenly spikes 10%, you know, like I was looking at Bonk and, you know, as just as a reference, and it had a spike here of like uh, about 10% in, in five minutes. <laughs> um, so, so the market is still kind of wild. Uh, you can see like this scandal, what is it? 15% in, in a minute, like things like this still happen, but of course then it totally sold off. Um, so, so things are still are still volatile uh things are still um you know uncertain in this market and although that happened we did see the crypto greed although we saw yesterday a new all-time high for bitcoin we are seeing the 
crypto greed uh, go down a little bit from 90 extreme greed to 83, which is still extreme greed, but a seven point dip. I thought that we were seeing a new all high, all time high for Bitcoin. We'd see it go up a little bit, but I think because the others uh, are lagging a little bit, right? Altcoins are lagging. So we saw uh, the greed go down a little bit. That's interesting. Uh, you know, how, how do they do it? There's volatility, market, momentum, volume, social media, and, uh, and dominance uh, and trends. Um, so interesting, right? So maybe it's from social media, negative uh, sentiment, or maybe it's just because of the volatility. Uh, we saw that happen there. So uh, we'll see, we'll see. And listen, the, the, the Bitcoin ETF uh, options were great. A lot of money went into it yesterday. People were trading it. Uh, it's only on the monthly contracts, so no weekly contracts just yet. Um, and that, if that happens, that will be even more crazy, right? So it's only the to the third Friday of the of the month. You're getting expiration date on that. So those are those those Fridays are going to be bananas going forward. Um, but uh, currently, we have a situation where uh, there's going to be more added volatility because of these option contracts. That we saw that yesterday as uh, Bitcoin sold off into the end of the the day. So probably you had. Uh, some you know, contracts were being bought, and so people were buying IBIT, and then uh, we had some uh, you know contracts being sold. So IBIT was getting sold off, and so then we saw that, of course, rolling over into Bitcoin, uh, and and that and that happened uh, last night when we saw that, and then altcoins you know pulled back big time, and and we saw of course Shiba Inu uh, from from that time you know pulling back and making a. Uh, an 8% movement to, to the bottom there. So you see how it's already affecting Shiba Inu and how it's already affecting uh, the crypto market. Sorry for that what's up sound. I forgot to turn the, the audio off. Uh, it, it will be interesting uh, to see here uh, where where we go, right? We already have uh, people like um, you know Robert coming out and, and saying that they agree with uh, Michael Saylor and his 13 million potential uh, Bitcoin value. He says, I believe he is right. He is one smart boy. Bitcoin is 90,000 today. If Saylor is on target, which I think he is, this means nine for $9,000 today, you buy 0 0.1 Bitcoin today, you're a millionaire tomorrow. Sure beats going 50,000 in debt for a student loan, studying for years just to earn a flimsy MBA. Get smarter, buy Bitcoin today. He is, right? Uh, of course, not financial advice. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, a lot of people um, really like Robert and his teachings. You know, I, I've read uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I've read actually two of his books. Um, a lot of my philosophies come from him. I don't agree with him on every single thing that he says, but, um, you know, he is very into Bitcoin. He is very pro-Bitcoin, very pro-crypto. And we're seeing, you know, more and more people come around uh, with this. And we see more and more people coming around into the crypto market. And as the crypto market gets even more hot and more, uh, uh, you know, uh, furious, we're going to see more and more retail coming back into the crypto market. So it's going to be very interesting to see. Uh, you know, what happens. And of course, we have this, you know, MicroStrategy closed the day as a market cap of 87.3 billion. Meanwhile, the market cap of the second largest gold miners, Newmont and Barrick, closed the day at 49.2 billion and 31 billion, respectively combined. The two largest gold miners have market cap of 80 billion. This means MicroStrategy now has a market cap of 7 billion larger than the two largest gold miners combined. And while Bitcoin now has a market cap of 60 billion larger than entire market cap of silver, not even hedge funds can ignore this anymore. As we see the hedge fund money come in, it's going to, like I said, go to Bitcoin and then potentially trickle down. Uh, you know, if I, as I uh, reference this as a cowboy hat turning into a sombrero. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, not all the money is going to circle into altcoins because a lot of it is going into the ETFs. Uh, but still, you know, the, the the money at the top will potentially be a lot larger and then the money that's not in the ETFs will be valued at a higher level potentially and then that could trick, mean more money trickling down into the altcoin ecosystem. So it's going to be very interesting to see uh, where the market goes from here and where potentially Shiba Inu is. Can Shiba Inu break out? It, it will break out of this triangle. The question is going to be uh, in what direction? Does it break out to the upside or the downside? 
Uh, you know, in the one hour, it's very confusing. We got a lot of crossovers on the 1348 EMA, uh, the, the RSI, stochastic RSI isn't giving us much. Even here, you know, we're getting close from the four hour to the bottom of the stochastic RSI. It's not giving us much of a potential direction. On the daily, we went from the top of the stochastic RSI. We're, we're getting closer and closer to the bottom. So I don't have a clear cut answer here. I don't, I don't see, uh, you know, a clear cut answer if we're going to break to the upside or the downside. Again, a lot has to do with the momentum. If Bitcoin starts rallying to 100,000, so I, I think that Shiba Inu will pump with it. Uh, but if it doesn't, and if it starts pulling back, and if we have, you know, WW3 potentially, uh, you know, with Russia, Ukraine situation, then we might we might not see that uh, any you know anytime soon, but we'll see. I'm not a prophet. I don't know what's gonna happen. Of course, not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. Don't forget to smash the like button. Check out the links in the description down below. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.